Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. I am um, I'm a little giddy right now. Don't laugh. I just found out that I've got my siblings are both on their way to see me with my niece. So life is good. Okay. I am going to make a fun little card. So I've been kind of obsessed today with playing with the time for tea. Um, or sorry, the tea room memories and more card pack. And I'm not showing you all those cards yet, but I had a blast making those. And I was like, Hey, I have added this. Um, I've got my, what's it called? Creating with North Shore Stamper Facebook group. So it's not a Facebook page. It's a Facebook group. You got it? Anyway. Hello everyone. Um, so on a Facebook group, it kind of shows up in your feed more regularly and it doesn't, you know, sometimes you see things you want and sometimes you don't see things you want and you never know kind of what's coming. Hello. Um, so what I decided to do was I will start to move some of my Facebook lives over there just because you're more likely to get to see them. If you miss me live, you'll see it later. So that link I did post on my page uh, and I'll share this video over there. So I am going to post on here today. Don't panic. That's what's happening, but I'll kind of guide you through it. Okay, so for everyone who is asking, Harley is fabulous. He had his last vet check today, and white blood cell count is back to normal. So we have a happy, healthy puppy whose nickname is now 4K. Anyway, we will just giggle and roll with that. So what we have got first is I have to do, I've got to do a little bit of creativeness here. No, I don't. That's okay. I'll pull that off. So I have got plain whisper white card base. You got it? Easy. Nothing crazy going on here. Now, I had a bone folder. Seriously, I always keep it in the same spot and it is not there. So I either ate it or, you know, we're all good. Um, so what I will use is I'm just gonna go, this is not a bone folder, guys. Don't try this at home. Hmm, I'm just kidding. Alan is there, hello. On oh, Steph Bakey, you're on, fun. Okay, so I've got a Whisper White card base. This is a thick one, why? Because I don't like it when it's droopy. So if I keep it this, uh, I use the thick ones because they help my cards stand up better, okay? And I have got, this is the Time for Tea Designer Series paper. Let me show you. So it coordinates with the stamp set color-wise, blah, blah, blah. Lots of florals and not necessarily usually my thing, but I do love this set. Be like, And a lot of these are in the cards as well. So when you get the Memories and More card pack, you have a ton of these patterns in it. So they're gorgeous. Okay, so what we're going to do first... This part, super easy. We are going to take this and we are going to snail. Now, use what you got. You got it, girl. Now, um, the one thing I do want to point out to you guys, you will notice something I use in every video. Well, I shouldn't say every because then that might, then somebody might say, you're lying. I saw one you didn't. 99% um, of my videos, you will notice I use my big shot. So if you are someone who does not have a big shot yet, you need a big shot. You can't survive without them. Um, I don't know. They just add those little details. And right now with the bonus days coupons, this is the time to get it. Because if you purchased your big shot, you're going to earn two more, uh, you'll earn two $6 off coupons that you can use next month in September when the holiday catalog goes live. And believe me, you want coupons for that. Good Lord. Okay. These are the stitched shape dies. Hello, Bren. Um, stitch shape dies. And so they've all got that gorgeous stitching on the edges. Now I'm going to go with this one just because I love the kind of pattern and it goes really well with the base on the next one. So we're going to come through and we're going to crank this. Use your muscles. This is how you build your biceps team. Okay. So we got this. Now the sketch, the kind of design, the layout I'm doing, you will notice if you go to that creating with North Shore stamper page that I was kind of referring people to today. Um, I did actually post a cute little card sketch and what a card sketch is for is it's supposed to provide you with inspiration. Okay. So it's kind of a starting point for a card. So that's what we're going to kind of roll with. Okay. Now the one thing we do need, and you can look at that cute little stamp set for a second is a piece of paper. Sorry. Don't get mad. This was the part I missed. Breathe. Everybody hold. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. There we go. We're back. Okay. So now this piece of designer series paper, you're going to notice that these guys are nice, thin designer series paper. There's actually more of them in a package than one would normally get. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to stamp our sentiment. Well, we are once I find it. There it is. Okay, so I am using my Rich Frazzleberry ink. Now, I gotta tell you, yes, this is the old style of ink pad. Do I love them? I love the new ones more. I know, and I will be replacing mine. It just, it will take time, especially after 4K. 
Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and this one says, you fill my cup with happiness. Or vodka, one of the two. Just kidding, I didn't mean that. Okay, there we go. So we have got that. Now, that one's all done, I can just put that one aside. And the next thing I am going to do is I'm gonna grab, this is the little teacup stamp that you'll see is in there, okay? And with this one we're gonna use the Memento Black Ink. Ta -da! Okay, and we're gonna stamp this one on here. I can always tell time of day. People are way more quiet at different times of day. Okay, there we go. So we've got that on there, and I just stamped that in Memento Black Ink. Okay, I always give that a second to dry. Now, this is that tailored tag punch, and you can use it to punch out that gorgeous shape, or you can use it to cheat like me when you want to flag the end of something and not cut it with your scissors and have it turn out all wonky. Good, you got it? Lovely. Okay, so this guy really is done. That's all I had to do to him. So we're gonna take this and we are going to snail this bad boy right onto there. Easy breezy, cut it cheesy. Okay, then I have got a little bit of our Whisper White Sheer Ribbon. I could tell you're dang era. I hate wonky hands. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Okay, so hang on, there we go. Go like this, chop, get rid of the roll. Oh, we can, here, let's leave the roll there for artistic. No, there's nothing, who are we kidding? I got no artistic flair when it comes to that. I see these uh, photos that people stage and they've got the ribbon all curled sweetly on them. Good God, I am lucky if there's not a dog sticking his face or foot into the picture while I take it. I took a hilarious one the other day for my Halloween class to go that I'll be offering and I thought I'd done so well on my photos until I went to watermark them and like do my kind of brightening and stuff and realized there's a dog nose in one of the photos. Catching you live, 1038, what are you doing up? Oh my God, okay, well, someone said what's 4K? Uh, okay, it was Brenda. Brenda, the puppy, was tremendously ill. Uh, no known cause, testing galore. Um, I'll let you figure out what the 4K stands for. Yes, so no answers. Two weeks of an extremely sick dog, and then he recovered, and he's fine. Okay, oh, you too, Laura? That's awesome. Okay, so now, I have gone back in. Uh, something you will notice when you start to see all my fall classes come out, I have become blends obsessed. So anyone who knows me would tell you that I don't like to color. I don't buy stamp sets that I color. Just, I don't know, I'm lazy. And so... You know, I was like, oh great, we have all these new colors of blends, I need to get some. And then we have all these cute lined images coming out in the new catalog. And all of a sudden I started to play. Yes, and now we have a problem. Now I have an addiction and I color everything. Okay, so I am going to put in a little bit of dark in here and here. Okay, and then I'll kind of let you see what I do from here. Hello from sunny California. Bonjour, comment ça va? Okay, so now I come in, again, you've seen me do this before and I know you're all like, Ange, that's horrible coloring. It's not, I promise, just wait, be patient. Okay, so come in here and all I'm gonna do is just fill this in with the lighter of the two markers of my rich Razzleberry, okay? And then I'm gonna, I have to get close here or I have to, hang on, I can't breathe and talk tongue is sticking out. Sorry, it was a hairy area there. We had to get tight. Okay, so once that part's done, now I come back in and look at, I just go over that area where the two colors met. Do you see that? Do you see how beautifully that disappears? Look at that. Is that not insanity? Okay, and then in here you can just kind of work that into. Okay, so now we'll do the same kind of idea on the bottom. And then on this one, what I did was I kind of came in here and I did these like little accenty shady lines that they had kind of put in for us. Come in here, sneak in there, and then I think I did a little bit kind of along that edge. Can't talk, concentrating. Oh my gosh, I am so with you. Hey y'all. I haven't had anyone say y'all on here in a while. I'm missing my Erica. I realized we all were talking with our little y'alls after she left. Okay, so now 
Again, I'm doing that exact same thing. So I came in and then I'm just gonna blend, hence the name blends, um, the lighter color in. Now, I know there are people who start light and then move to dark. I don't have any success that way. I cannot make my colors look smooth together, um, so I don't bother. I just stick to my dark and then go to my light. Okay, so you see, thank you, Beth. Beth shared it. I appreciate that. Um, it's a great way especially for somebody who's got like a home-based business. For those of you who don't know what she means, what she's done is she shared that I am live right now. So people she knows, it would go out to them saying, hey, there's this crazy lady, she's on live, come see her. Um, okay, next thing we're going to do. I am going to bring back in my Big Shot momentarily. Now, you will notice that my dies for this, I would love to show you some beautiful packaging. I don't have any. Check them out. Mine look weird because uh, I was a display stamper at a Stampin' Up! event, and so they did send me um, the dies, but it was before they were kind of like in production, so they were not all cute and packaged yet, but I am not complaining because I didn't have to pay for them. Okay, so we're going to sneak that in there. And we're going to do this very carefully. What I should have done, actually, oh, and thought new. No, 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 no. It wasn't new. It wasn't new. I promise. Oh, my gosh. I will tell you that it is the August Paper Pumpkin Kit. Mine should be coming. I thought it was coming tonight. Maybe it's tomorrow. I'll go live tomorrow with it, okay? Okay, so there we go. Cute. Perfect. Did it. Okay, next step. Let's move this thing back out. We have this we have this we have this we have, I think I've got it all okay let's assemble this bad boy and like I said you guys not a complicated card that's not what I'm going for here so coming in you know it's been a good day when there are three empty snails in your garbage okay I want my so see there's a butterfly in the background I want my butterfly upright so I'm gonna go this way and I'm just going to stick out my tongue and center this Ta-da! Done. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece here and we're going to slap some dimensionals on this bad boy. So as I was saying, with this whole Creating with North Shore Stamper, the Facebook group, what you will notice is uh, make sure to check where it says that I'll be posting it. So sometimes I will be going live from the Creating with North Shore Stamper group and sometimes I'll be going live from here. So if you're not following my Creating with North Shore Stamper group yet, you're going to want to do that and I will put the link in after I'm done. Okay, so now this is gonna come in here and we are just going to center you. And you'll understand what I was talking about. Hello, Paulette, with that sketch if you go over to that page. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit because it's just loose around it. I don't secure it at the back on purpose. What that allows me to do is to move it. Move it when you goob it, okay. So I stuck snail on here because the center part of it's not going to be elevated. Just that edge, okay? So we're going to come over here. I'm going to line it up with that one. We're going to come across like that. Don't know why I'm singing to you. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we are going to slap a couple of dimensionals. Okay, I've noticed that I don't get notifications when people go live in a group. Okay, so Corey, that's interesting to know. We are going to have to play with that because I was told that they're a far more predictable way to go live, but we don't want to mess that up. So if that's the case, then we might have to stick to doing them here. Okay, there you go. So as I said, you guys, nothing complicated, just kind of a fun little card and you play with playing with that uh, time for tea. And you can see like that DSP is gorgeous. Love, 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 love it. Beautiful colors. So this week I do have uh, a bunch more cards to share with you. I've already made them. Um, and well, even today I can show you here, hang on. This one is from the Memories and More card pack, the Tea Room card pack. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So this one is from the Memories and More card pack. Again, you're seeing the exact same colors. Now, I didn't have to do anything here. Only part I did on this was I stamped this. Um, this was one of the cards out of it. This is one of the cards. I added a little mat. This is one of the stickers out of it, and so is that. And then I just added a little bit of my own Calypso Coral Ribbon. I have it set so it notifies me when you go live here. Yes, absolutely. But we were just talking about whether or not it does that within a group, so we're gonna need to find that business out. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and make sure to check back with me this week because I have to tell you, for a grouping of products that wouldn't have normally sparked my interest, it definitely did. Now, you can go in, and maybe I should do that. Yeah, here, we'll do one little quick one. 
Um, I'm gonna go inside. What should we do inside? Oh, maybe we won't. Maybe I'll, I'll play with the inside and then I'll post it in the pictures because I don't have inks ready for that. Anyway, have an amazing night, you guys, and I will see you as soon as my paper pumpkin kid arrives. Bye.